Oh my god, I can't. Oh, I'm ruined. Oh my god, Scott Dilbeck, he ruined my life. He posted this video on Facebook. I, I don't think it's him. I, I don't think he's that bright. But somebody else revealed my secrets on a lightning audio woofer that if you grind off the brand and resell it, that's a terrible thing. And I want to apologize to everybody for doing that and for tricking everybody and telling people that they could work from home. That was wrong of me. I mean, if, uh, you know, Clown Down or whatever, Sun Clown or whatever they are, buys from China and has China make it, and then they sell it for whatever, that, I guess that's fine. If you can afford the MOQ, which is usually like 40 grand or whatever. But if you do it individually, I guess it's wrong. And I just, I just want to apologize to everybody. Um, I, was, I was doing research on Scott. You can go to scottdilbeck.com. And, uh, you know, he's a really hardworking guy. And um, I'll, I'll let you check it out. Uh, the other one, the guy I, I admire, that's a, he's a magic box guy, magic box builder, Dave Lieb. You can go to davelieb.com and check out some of his work on Magic Box. I don't know why it's called a Magic Box. It's not very magic, but whatever. Um, I wanted to talk about this. So I haven't heard from Greg McKinney, um, also known as uh, Hurricane Sounds on the Cash App, about the quad coil thing. I also haven't heard from uh, uh, Bear Vids, uh, any response or anything like that. So I'm just gonna do it myself. I, uh, Laura was digging around and found this old um, uh, sub that I had made for EM Audio and it was shifted and uh, I just kind of ignored it or, and I fixed it, um, I realigned it and um, I noticed that it has, uh, this is the Soundstream tarantula frame and it's got the four coils. I think I'm just waiting on spiders from Lord of Bass that has the quad leads and it's real soft. So, but I'll do uh, the video that I wanted to do to show that um, uh, series versus parallel. And uh, I'll show it whether I'm right or wrong. I, w I, wanna, I wanna see the, the difference. And if I'm wrong, I, I apologize. Um, I watched, somebody had sent me a video of, uh, what's his name, Pete uh, at Hexibase. And it's funny because his, <laughs> his video is, is a bit biased and he seems a little angry about stuff. Uh, but it's from like three years ago, and it and it says teal small parameters, part one, and then there's like no part two or anything like that. So, but um, I don't want to pick through Pete's videos. People that really like Pete really like him, and so again, I, it doesn't matter. Um, I just want to do my experiment here with this generic piece of shit that I made in my garage. Look at that, a glue drip. Ugh, I should just go shoot myself. Um, but I wanted to put those things out. Um, I think that was it. I can't believe Scott Dilbeck ruined my life like that. That's not fair. That's not nice. You know, I I don't know what to say. Um, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry I led you down the path to, you know, that, that you would feel independent and want to escape your nine to five. I mean, Scott's totally showing you how to do that. Um, and Dave Lieb, you know, with his little mustache and quirky girl that he's with and on his Facebook, you know, that really inspires me to, to just sort of take people's money and, and just say, fuck you and overcharge them. And I just don't have the guts to do that kind of thing. So I'm sorry. I'm just a cuck. I'm just a beta cuck. And I love you guys, but uh, I, that's gay. I guess I'm gay. Ah, oh, fuck. I better just end this video.